Introducing Google Pixel Fold. <laughs> it combines Tensor G2, Android innovation, and AI for an incredible phone that unfolds into an incredible compact tablet. It's the only foldable engineered by Google to adapt to how you want to use it with a familiar front display that works great when it's folded. And when it's unfolded, it's our thinnest phone yet and the thinnest foldable on the market. <laughs> now to get there, we had to pack a flagship level phone into nearly half the thickness, which meant completely redesigning components like the telephoto lens and the battery and a lot more. So it can fold up and it can fit in your pocket and retain that familiar smartphone silhouette when it's in your hand. But Pixel Fold has three times the screen space of a normal phone. You unfold it and you're treated to an expansive 7.6 inch display that opens flat with a custom 180 degree fluid friction hinge. So you're getting the best of both worlds. It's a powerful smartphone when it's convenient and an immersive tablet when you need one. Now, there, there are so many experiences that feel even more natural with the Pixel Fold. One is the dual screen interpreter mode. Your Pixel Fold, your Pixel Fold can use both displays both displays to provide a live translation to you and the person you're talking to. So it's really easy to connect across languages. You can pre-order Pixel Fold starting today and it'll ship next month. And you'll get the most out of our first ultra premium foldable by pairing it with Pixel Watch. So when you pre-order Pixel Fold, you'll also get a Pixel Watch on us. Today, we're completely upgrading everything you love about our A-Series with the gorgeous new Pixel 7a. Like all Pixel 7 series devices, Pixel 7a is powered by our flagship Google Tensor G2 chip, and it's paired with eight gigabytes of RAM, which ensures Pixel 7a delivers best-in-class performance and intelligence. And you're gonna love the camera. The 7a takes the crown from 6a as the highest rated camera in its class, with the biggest upgrade ever to our A-series camera hardware, including a 72% bigger main camera sensor. Pixel 7a is available today, starting at $499. It's an, un it's an unbeatable combination of design, performance, and photography, all at a great value. Pixel tablet is the only tablet engineered by Google and designed specifically to be helpful in your hand and in the place they are used the most, the home a beautiful 11-inch high-resolution display with crisp audio from the four built-in speakers, a premium aluminum enclosure with a nano ceramic coating that feels great in the hand and is cool to the touch, the world's best Android experience on a tablet powered by Google Tensor G2 for long-lasting battery life and cutting-edge personal AI. For example, with Tensor G2, we optimize the Pixel camera specifically for video calling. Tablets are fantastic video calling devices. And with Pixel tablet, you are always in frame, in focus, and looking your best. But we saw an opportunity to make the tablet even more helpful in the home. So we engineered a first of its kind charging speaker dock. It gives the tablet a home. And now you never have to worry about it being charged. Pixel tablet is always ready to help 24-7. The new Pixel tablet comes in three colors, 
It is available for pre-order today and ships next month starting at just $4.99. And the best part, every Pixel tablet comes bundled with the 129 charging speaker dock for free. <laughs> As AI continues to improve rapidly, we are focused on giving helpful features to our users. And starting today, we are giving you a new way to preview some of the experiences across workspace and other products. It's called Labs. I say new, but Google has a long history of bringing labs, and you know, we've made it available throughout our uh, history as well. You can check it out at google.com slash labs. We are taking the next step in Gmail with Help Me Write. Let's say you got this email that your flight was canceled. The airline has sent a voucher, but what you really want is a full refund. You could reply and use Help Me Write. Just type in the prompt of what you want, an email to ask for a full refund, hit Create, and a full draft appears. As you can see, it conveniently pulled in flight details from the previous email. And it looks pretty close to what you want to send. Google Maps provides 20 billion kilometers of directions every day. That's a lot of trips. Imagine if you could see your whole trip in advance. With immersive view for routes, now you can, whether you're walking, cycling, or driving. Let me show you what I mean. Say I'm in New York City, and I want to go on a bike ride. Click on immersive view for routes, and it's an entirely new way to look at my journey. I can zoom in to get an incredible bird's eye view of the ride, and, and as we turn, we get on to a great bike path. Magic Eraser, launched first on Pixel, uses AI-powered computational photography to remove unwanted distractions. And, and later this year, using a combination of semantic understanding and generative AI, you can do much more with a new experience called Magic Editor. Let's have a look. This is a great photo, but as a parent, you always want your kid at the center of it all. And it looks like the balloons got cut off in this one. So you can go ahead and reposition the birthday boy. Magic Editor <laughs> automatically recreates parts of the bench and balloons that were not captured in the original shot. We launched BARD as a limited access experiment on a lightweight large language model to get feedback and iterate. And so I'm excited to announce that tools are coming to BARD. People love Google Lens, and in the coming months, we're bringing in the powers of Lens to BARD. So if you're looking to have some fun with your fur babies, you might upload an image and ask BARD to write a funny caption about these two. A Lens detects that this is a photo of a goofy German Shepherd and a Golden Retriever, and then BARD uses that to create some funny captions with Adobe Firefly, you'll be able to generate completely new images from your imagination right in BARD. Now, let's say I'm planning a birthday party for my seven-year-old who loves unicorns. I want a fun image to send out with the invitations. Make an image of a unicorn and a cake at a kid's party. Okay, now BARD is working with Firefly to bring what I imagined to life. Say you run a fashion boutique and need to hire a textile designer. To get started, you enter just a few words as a prompt. Senior level job description for textile designer. Docs will take that prompt, send it to our Palm 2 based model, and let's see what I got back. Not bad. With just seven words, the model came back with a good starting point written out really nicely for me. Let's pick one of the slides and here's the poem on there as a prompt for image generation. Mom loves her pizza, cheesy and true, while dad's favorite treat is a warm pot of fondue. Let's hit create and see what it comes up with. So we generate about six to eight images so that you have the ability to choose and refine. 
Starting next month, trusted testers will be able to try this and six more generative AI features across workspace. And later this year, all of this will be generally available to business and consumer workspace users via a new service called Duet AI for Workspace. In the coming months, we're adding two new ways for people to evaluate images. First, with our About This Image tool in Google Search, you will be able to see important information such as when and where similar images may have first appeared, where else the image has been seen online, including news, fact-checking, and social sites, all this providing you with helpful context to determine if it's reliable. Later this year, you'll also be able to use it if you search for an image or screenshot using Google Lens, or when you're on websites in Chrome. As we begin to roll out the generative image capabilities, like Sundar mentioned, we will ensure that every one of our AI-generated images has metadata, a markup in the original file to give you context if you come across it outside of our platforms. Not only that, creators and publishers will be able to add similar metadata so you'll be able to see a label in images in Google search marking them as AI-generated. 